Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the MK USA newscast for June 2011. I'm your host, Moomin Bhatti, and today we're going to be looking at some of the latest happenings in the world of Majlis Khadam al Ahmadiyya USA, which is a leading American Muslim youth organization committed to community service and spreading the message of peace. A lot to talk about in this episode. Let's get started with a message from our president, Rizwan al Sahib. Sahib. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. I'm just here getting pumped and psyched for our September walkathon. Inshallah, I hope to see you all there too. Of course, as the summer begins, I'm looking forward to seeing you all at Justice Salana and our national Ijtama in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Until then, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you, Sada Sahib, for your remarks. Now it's time for stories from around the country. Sheryar Ahmed in Seattle gave a speech in his college class on Islam as a religion of peace. And here's some shots from MKA North Jersey's flyer distribution. I actually have Guy North Jersey, Kashif Chaudhary, on the phone with me. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much for having me, Moment. So, um, Guy Saab, what motivates you and your Qadam to do this regularly? First of all, I think uh, uh, it's the directive of the Holy, Holy Quran to uh, spread, spread the message uh, out there among people. Secondly, I think... Uh, uh, what motivates us uh, personally, uh, me personally here, is, uh, is the fact that the Prophet Muhammad Islam had said that if he had the power and the ability to speak English, he would go door to door to spread this message of peace. Now, the other thing is, uh, it, it just just like you know, uh, Qudam, uh in most of parts of the world are not able to do what we are able to do with freedom here in the United States. Here are some scenes from M.K. Fitchburg's The Bleak Stall. We're from Fitchburg Jamaat, and we're about a. 10 minutes away, the big flea market that happens every weekend, and we have books, literature, and Muslims for Peace and Loyalty flyers. MK North Jersey promoted understanding and dialogue at their event titled, The Place of Humanity in My Faith. Speakers from six different faiths talked about the significance of humanitarian work and striving toward alleviating human suffering. Kodam in Fitchburg adopted Riverfront Park in downtown Fitchburg, Massachusetts, which hosts many important city festivals throughout the year. They've been doing a great job in keeping it clean. MKA USA has been engaged in blood drives across the country. Here are some clips from Boston's blood drive. from all over New England are coming up to this location to donate blood. In honor of the Amethyst who were martyred last year uh, in May in the attacks in Pakistan. The reality is that those brothers gave their blood uh, for the sake of their faith and the least that we can do is donate some of our blood to also serve our fellow man and commemorate their sacrifice. I'm uh, happy that uh, I'm giving blood for my brothers and sisters who lost their lives. We donate blood in the name of Islam to save innocent lives. I work for the American Red Cross and just wanted to thank your community for being so supportive in our mission in collecting blood. And here are some shots from MKA Silver Springs Blood Drive, which was held at Batur Rahman Mosque. Look for the Spring 2011 Mujahid in the mail. This special issue is in remembrance of the Martyrs of Lahore, Pakistan, and contains pictures of all of them. If you haven't received or don't receive the Mujahid, please email editor-in-chief at mkausa.org. That's right, make sure you've cleared your schedules now so that you're able to attend. Many of you have had your local and regional ishtamas. Here are some of the pictures that you sent. For the national ishtama and at Fall Rally, go to mkusa.org for the latest updates and information. 
We're talking pictures and addresses of the locations, the Pittsburgh Airport's website, and links to videos and pictures of past events. Kodam in Seattle got suited up and went paddleboarding. Looking good, guys. Send us pictures of your fun Kodam and fall events to newscast at mkusa.org. MK Dallas had a seminar for students and job seekers. Kodam learned tips on how to be successful in college and how to prepare for job interviews. Khudam and Atfal around the country are helping to beautify their local mosques and centers. It's time for the Talim question of the month. For Hadarana correctly answered last month's question with the answer 1891. Here is this month's question. Submit your answers by the 25th of this month with your name and majlis to newscast at mkausa.org. For us, uh, as Muslims who believe in the Messiah, as the Ahmadi Muslim community, our stance is that we stand by our fellow Americans in, in condemning all terrorism and being grad of uh, being happy that this reign of terror has come to an end, and also to send a message to everyone that uh, Muslims are meant to be loyal to the country in which they reside, and that's right. why our Muslims for Peace, Muslim Loyalty campaign is all about. A group of local Muslims spoke up today about the death of Osama bin Laden. YNN caught up with the Ahmadiyya Muslim community this morning at the Rochester Public Market. Members talked with anyone who wanted to discuss their feelings in the wake of his death. His effort is, this effort is part of the group's Muslims for Peace and Muslims for Loyalty national campaign. They plan to be a public event and even go door to door to talk about the peaceful teachings of Islam. As an American, it was good because the 9-11 tragedy affected us Muslims just as much as everyone else. As an American Muslim, it affected me uh, a lot. So it was good that Osama bin Laden was brought to justice. The group's goal is to work with the community to break down stereotypes and bring people together regardless of race or religion. 31 writers published 48 pieces. These letters and op-eds reached a conservative estimate of over 11 million readers. This month's rising star is 10-year-old Hassan Ishaq Qureshi of Tucson. When asked what advice he would give to other Adfal, Hassan says, Always work hard at whatever you're doing because it will pay off in the end. This month's shining star is Usman Mangla in Detroit, Michigan. In 1996, he became guide of the Detroit Jamaat and then served as regional guide in 2007. See their full profiles on mkausa.org. Alright, that does it for this episode. Tune in next time when we're going to get to a lot of the Memorial Day weekend stuff that you guys did. I know you guys did a lot of work. And uh, you guys sent a lot of story submissions to newscast at mkusa.org, which is the email to send all your um, ideas for the show, your story submissions, uh, the different things that you guys do. That's the email that gets to the whole team. If you want to be a part of that team, give me a shout-out at newscast at mkusa.org. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.